to Government House here and uh, Stuart McKenzie, soon to be MBE, is with us and uh, we'll play out all that a bit later but we've gone before the event here to talk about um, this award. I mean, first of all, were you surprised? I mean, what reaction did you have when you found out? Well, I, I felt honoured. I think this is the first thing that you, uh, that you think. Um, it had been discussed by... Uh, a sponsor who asked me was I prepared to be nominated and uh, I said yes that's fair enough I, I, I would be um, but I wasn't quite certain that in fact he would go through <laughs> but apparently uh, he managed to um, get uh, a number of supporters and I think that is the key to it if there's more than one person mm -hmm. puts you forward. So which did you get it for because we, I want to talk about your life and it's fascinating what uh, you've been up to and we'll hear that again in your speech I know that we'll have a following our interview but is it for the peer? I mean, which bit was it? No, no, no. It, I, you're, you're known for the peer these days. You've yeah. had so many things here. <laughs> yes, I appreciate that. And uh, that's because, of course, the peer is most recent. Mm. But, but I have been here for 53 years, and I hope from my work with introducing computers to the island and then forming the Mackenzie Trust to help other people set up or expand, and uh, finally, as it were, to move on to something in my retirement, the, to help with the peer, um, it, it's 50 years of, of, of work. See, I, I forget, it. was that Enterprise on that? Was that all you, all those years ago, the very first uh, internet on the island? No, we it? were the first internet, it was yeah. Manx Computer Bureau. Manx Computer Bureau. Yes, Enterprise came just after us. Right, but it was uh, so like Wild West, wasn't it? Yeah, days? well, in a way, yeah. Dial up well, and yeah. all that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, but they, they, Enterprise disappeared uh, yeah. at the, the end. But, of course, MCB went on. Uh, Did you just see that? Is that... Part of your thing that you see these opportunities yes i'm sure that that's the case and um, i think in my speech i will be saying that the reason that we brought the mckenzie trust there was because when we expanded we were always at the forefront of technologies and we couldn't get support from either the government or banks because they didn't understand what we're talking about mm. when we said to them that we were going to introduce the in internet uh, the, what's the internet you know mm. the, and of course looking ahead now we've got it uh, in yeah. such that everybody's got the did, internet did you put the first connectivity between us and the UK, or something, yes. something to do with that? Oh, yes. I, um, well, that was because I was helping the DTI yeah. uh, as consultant, and I was the only one who knew anything about fibre optics at that time. So this was fibre cable? So this was the fibre cable, so I was the project manager advising the government and looking after the fibre optic cable, which is wrapped around the interconnector from Bispham uh, to Douglas. Right. And then we set up the network operating centre uh, in Ridgeway Street and uh, wow. the, the, uh, that's looked after now by, I think, some, is it Ellen Communications? Mm -hmm. It's a subsidiary of MUA. We've mm -hmm. seen so much change, haven't we? I mean, we yeah. have. Mm -hmm. But let's, let's go back. You're fascinating the things you're going to be talking about in your speech. Tell us a bit about your history and, and you've been in war zones and all sorts of things. <laughs> been in, in, in the, you know, line of fire? <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> I think uh, life at sea nowadays is a bit more prosaic than it was in the uh, 50s and 60s and 70s. I mean, I was at sea for 20 years, and uh, mainly in the Far East, and uh, it was uh, quite complicated out there, if that's the correct word. Um, <laughs> polite word. Well, polite word, yes. <laughs> we, we got bombed uh, in Balakpapan, which on a tanker is not a good thing. Mm. And uh, with that was in the uh, Indonesian rebellion. And I think the re rebels had hired uh, an American mercenary with a plane. And he came over and he sank our sister ship. And uh, the bomb uh, for us bounced off uh, the ventilator and exploded over the side. Um, I was shaking my hands. So the um, good thing about it was that none of us were hurt. And the explosion, because it exploded in the sea, 
It damaged all the side of the ship, and we had to go to Yokohama for three months to be rebuilt. And as an apprentice, that was a nice time. Very nice. <laughs> I enjoyed that. So I, I'm know, now a Fuji-san. Do you know that? Go on. What's a Fuji-san? Go on. Somebody who's climbed Mount Fuji. And mm -hmm. I climbed Mount Fuji up and down in one day. I was younger then. <laughs> well, there's so much more to the story, but you are, as I said, you've got uh, a few words you're, you're going to be saying after the, the event's over. But uh, I, I know as, as a legacy thing, you know, your Mackenzie Trust and all that, you, you're going to put a lot towards the, the, the peer, isn't it, and other causes? Is that your sort of thing you want to do, your payback? Well, no, no I mean, the payback is certainly in the Mackenzie Trust because yeah. um, all my and my wife's uh, estate is deeded to the trust apart from um, a amount for one bay on the pier. Uh -huh. And uh, the one bay will help because there's like 60 altogether. So, and that's a lot of money, isn't, well, it, isn't it? A whole bay? Well, a whole bay, yes. Wow. Um, and uh, that's where the legacy is. I mean, mm. I don't have any children and uh, uh, it seemed the right way to do it. We'd built up, Barbara and myself had built up this trust and we've had quite a lot of uh, people over the years, but of course with restricted funds. But uh, when I pass on, there will be uh, significant funds, and that's good. And I yeah. hope many people will be helped. And, and how many people have you helped in the past? Do you have any idea? Oh, quite a lot. I don't know, 30, 40, something like that. Yeah. Yes. It's not always that you're giving them um, investment or loans, it's sometimes mentoring the people to say, no, you shouldn't do that. You, you, that will not be successful. Um, you've got to be uh, straightforward with people and you sometimes are giving them help because uh, we have a legal trustee, a banking trustee, an accounting trustee and a family trustee. So there are four trustees at any one time. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, a wide spectrum of uh, knowledge which we're able to help people and pass on. So what do you want to be remembered for? <laughs> so many different things <laughs> going on here. I mean, uh, actually, I like the pier, I mean, then day, it's so physical and you can see it and, and it's just so wonderful. To be involved in that, I, I know you, you, you took over from originally uh, the gentleman, wasn't it, who, who started it, but you, you have been running that project now for many years in various different forms. Well, yes, I mean, the point was that when Tom Durant asked me uh, to help, um, I volunteered to look after the marine aspects because there was nobody else around who had a sort of marine background. Um, but then it morphed into being the project manager. Uh, You've been very good at that. phase one. Very good at that. <laughs> yeah, very good at that. I mean, who would have thought? No one knew when they put out the planks for sale and that sort of thing. How is it all going to take off? And the money has come in, as they say. Yes. Well, and they will come almost, it yes. feels like. Yes, I mean, we're well on to phase two now. And uh, uh, the, uh, I was looking down on the pier because, of course, my apartment overlooks the pier. And uh, they were looked as though they were putting the first planks on on Bay 6, Bay which six. is very good. Uh, How and, many total uh, is there? there? Well, there's 60 in total. 60? Yes. But, wow. um, it's a long way going. Yeah, but I mean, the first three or four were really, really difficult mm. because A, you had to find out how to do the work and B, mm. the uh, original plans, which we have, uh, unfortunately don't reflect exactly what's there. So now you've got a knowledge base, basically. <laughs> and now we have the knowledge right. base, yes. OK. Well, just to finish this, part two, you can find the whole presentation, but just to finish this interview off, that you've got a lot of people coming tonight. I mean, I know, I know that a lot of people, more people will probably want to come. How are you going to feel about this whole thing? Well, uh, I, I'm not sure. How You've never, lost a, never lost, a never lost a word. I've lost a word. Never lost a word. Well, no, I, I, I shall feel that I, I started off this interview by saying when, you, when I found out about it, I was honoured. Yeah. And the fact that people are prepared to come and support me uh, here tonight. That in itself is an honour. And you chose here rather than going down to I, Buckingham. I'm not going to, there for ten minutes. <laughs> And with, and with, and with EasyJet cancelling all the bloody flights. Should we leave it at that? At that. <laughs> Thank you very much Cheers. and congratulations Thank again. Thank you very much.